green. Important thing on how getting some hook. It's not only about getting hook, but hooking the right person. Let's say, oh, that's, that bot is a Genji. Oh no, I miss, I miss. It's a Tracer, I'm gonna miss. Don't bother with them. Like, if you're just beginning, like, uh, let's say your silver goal, just tr just focus on hooking your tanks. And when, like, hooking the fat diva is gonna get easy, like that, then start hooking your, like, the DPS healers, like, play with smaller hitbox. Also, what's important, Hog, is to know that you're healing. Also, reduce damage that you take. It can actually save your life. Like, you don't need to be running away to heal yourself. You can heal yourself while taking damage as well. And it's still gonna, going to heal you up quite a lot. So, there's hard, draw like primary fire, and alternate fire. The difference between the two is the distance. This one is good for like close quarter, like we're talking about let's go up to these five meters. I want a headshot. If I, I try it to to hit the this one this bot, the alternate is fire at this distance. I didn't outside HP, wondering. And let's kill them real quick. So that's a big difference to know the, the best distance. You don't want to aim for the head because if you aim for the head, off your shot, see, off of my shot, like two, three, four shot went above his head. So what you gotta want to do is actually aim for the neck, and then I killed him. One shot miss out of all those. One shot miss. I'm send this same distance, aiming for neck. I think here, three shot miss. I'm not sure. I think the wall is already damaged or something. So you aim for the neck. Let's see a lot. I always aim for the neck. The guy is one HP. Aim for the neck. Check the distance. That's a one shot. Easy as that. Now. It's the same thing with alternate fire. Just not the same distance. Let's try 10 meters. Let's see. Now let's try 7 meters. About 7 meters. Let's go for headshot just for the sake of it. Still have it. You see? Like the projectile didn't explode yet. So we'll back up a bit more. About 9 meters. Let's run this one. See? It exploded. Alright. Uh, all the like how can I say this? Your alternate fire is like primary fire, but the that's it. This is like Reaper. Just imagine this is Reaper shooting at you. It's the same thing. But it's like a Reaper shooting at you. But if the Reaper was there, like it's the same thing. It's just a distance, like five meters behind you. So if I stand on 10 meters, we're not at 9 meters. Sit down the next one, I'm not at 9. Let's get at 9, about 9. 9 meters, one shot. Let's try 10 meters. Just reset the bots. Let's try 10 meters. Wait, that's 10 meters. Still a headshot, but you see I aim a little bit for the neck. If I aim for the head, straight for the head. Still not shot. Let's try 12. Still not shot. Still one shot. What if I back out a little bit more? Up to 15 meters. Oh, see? I almost killed it. Not quite though. If I try the same thing with this one, aim for the. straight for the head. Oh, this one has a lot more HP because. Rock shots, like his pellets, are randomized. When I shoot, they're never gonna be at the same order. Like, that's one spread. That's another spread. Like, the pellets never go at the same place, it's randomized. 
So you cannot predict where they're gonna hope where are going to go. But you can make it so when you're close enough that they all go where you wanna shoot. So let's reset the bots. There you go. So I'm at 50 meters. Earlier I didn't kill the, sh the boss in one shot. If I aim for the neck, it feels bad. Still, it's better than earlier. Because I left the yeah, like 20, 30 HP more. This is at like 14. So I say the sweet spot is at like, for Altair's fire, is like 14, 30 meters. About this instance, that's well in the hook range. So when you can hook someone, that means you should be using the alternate fire, always. But if you're closed, you don't bother hooking them unless it's like a small character like a Genji, Tracer, Fast and Agile. Like even like if there's McCree, you want to secure the kill before he use a flashbang on you. Just hook him, headshot, punch, he's dead. But uh, like you want to be hooking around that distance when you know that your alternate fire is gonna explode against the wall. See, like what well, I'm like to tell when it's gonna explode. Now it didn't explode. Now it just did. Like you see, the circle is very small. Back out a bit more, a bit bigger. But if I back out a lot, see. I did no damage on the bots because the shots went everywhere and there's fall of damage which like that means just gotta get closer so with hog that's a small trick you can do hook people then you turn around so you'll be tail be drop okay I see this mm, yeah you hook someone when the hook like hands till till drop right the like while you are like in front of you about like two meters in front of you but if I hook them and turn around that was actually weird yeah that was actually weird because he went behind me but you see like when you hooked him he was there but then he went there about there so let's say this is team five there's three teams ahead of you like right there and this is our team. If you hook the guy there, just more chance for him to get uh, get out there alive than if you hook him and he ends up there. It's easy. See, you hook him there, shoot him. Like, unless it's a tank, if you hook someone, you should be able to kill them. Anyone? I'll try. Let's say I'll do the actual combo and just a headshot. So I have a reset the, <laughs> the combo is hook, you shoot, aim for neck, then you finish them off with the, the punch. Because like people people are like Genji's not gonna have the headbox of this bot. Like it's a way smaller, maybe half the size of the the bot hitbox. Because if I was to now I move but I'll get a bot that doesn't move. And you can see how the hitbox is bigger than the actual character size. I'm gonna shoot here. See? I hit a headshot. And more than one pellet hit. See? I'm not even seeing the character outline. Still a headshot. So, the bot, like, let's say, that was still a headshot. Still a headshot. That's not a headshot. So, the bot headshot its box is from like here to like here. That's actually huge. Just shoot here, headshot kill. So the Genji head head box, head box head yeah yeah hit what So the Genji head box head is like a third, a fourth of that. It's way smaller. Like you're gonna have the Genji head bit bit next to it, bit next to it, but that was gonna be it. So even if like you're that distance, you hook him, 
Then you shoot, some pills are gonna miss. That's why you wanna punch them after. Like, test the combo. To make sure you finish up the target. And, I can have a little trick for that. Like, when you ho when you hold someone, they, they're gonna hand up like this distance above you. In front of you. Yeah, that's good, but if you shoot them, some pills are gonna go, uh, they won't hit them because they'll go away. But if I hook them, take a step forward and shoot, Less pellet will have the chance like to to like hit the edge of your uh, shooting pattern and cause just to control even more to random like a uh, randomized spray pattern of hog. Like you can you hook, you walk forward, you shoot, then you punch. That's just it. So another cool trick about hog. Shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, oh, shooting, shooting. Oh, I'm ulting, I'm ulting, I'm ulting. Are you gonna see it? I reload. When you hold with hog and with a lot of heroes, let's say Farah. Uh, I'm gonna say Genji, but there's a there's a lot more. Like after you like you wanna ult after you use all your shots because it's gonna give you a free reload time. So you can do more damage by saving that once again from reloading. So has hog. When do you play a rollout? I think that hog is like the carry character to get out of low ranks. Just play him. You can cancel ultimate with your hook. You got self filling if your supports are shit. Your tank. And you do as much damage as a DPS. What more can you ask? People, yeah. I've been bitch about because about people. Oh, you play hog. You don't care about the team. Go back to cut or something like that. But just ignore them. Just trying to play for yourself, not for them. So as hog, your hog can cancel a bunch of ultimate. Like make real ultimate, you can cancel it. Every ultimate that needs a, I'm not sure about the definition of this one. Like a wide up or like, what the ultimate is being used like for an extended period of time, you can cancel it. Like you're not gonna cancel a Genji blade, but there's a high chance that you might be able to kill him. Cause let's say the Genji is here, you just pop his hold, and there's your support. You want to dash on them. If you can hit the like godlike hook and he uses dash he's not gonna be able to kill your support he's gonna be wasting his ultimate on you and you're just gonna be healing yourself and living through his ultimate and you might have a chance to kill him so yeah I think Grolag is the best role you can carry on cause he like he's so much so versatile can do anything with him. Uh, yeah, his ultimate has knockbacks, of course. Don't use your ultimate in 1v6 because you're moving way slower, so it's easy to shoot you. And if you do that, like you push out, like let's say you got a Ryan shield or Insta shield, whatever, and you push out of it, you're gonna get exposed. And that's where you're gonna die because you cannot heal yourself. It's so, like, make sure you, when you ult, you're not alone. Because, like, it's really hard to kill a hog. You get your healing on what? 7 seconds? 8 seconds. 8 seconds. Every 8 seconds, you get 300 more HP. That's actually insane. So it's really hard to kill a hog. But when you ult, it's easy. So just keep that in mind. Uh, with hog. I'd say... Like before there's a team fight, I always use alternate fire because the extra range, you, d you don't want to be up in their face before there's a team fight that happens. Mm, what's next? Well this is more like the calm stuff, I guess I can tell you about it when we play together or something. But Dragon and Harissa, they're really great. Harissa can 
say 3, 2, 1, I'm pulling, then you hook in the pull, then you're almost guaranteed to get a hook. And because your Aries is there, and your team knows that you're ho doing the hook, the pull and hook combo, like that person's gonna die. Unless it's like a diva. So, Hogwarts is really great against dive. Like, I just love shooting diva, Winston. Okay, it's very hard, but you can actually counter tracer with hog because even if she's like you can uh, go and defend a flank from the tracer like protect your support she's gonna be shooting at you not the, the sports and if you can land a hook on her you just kill her it's easy as that and even if you can't she's only gonna be shooting you what is she gonna do you're gonna heal yourself don't she just fuck off she has, she has nothing to grant you so hog is right against IF is great against tanks like just focus tanks like don't bother shooting the DPS that's first just, just fight the tanks break shield like breaking shield is actually really important let's say you have a, a Reinar and you have one as well you want to be able to to win the Reinar shield battle so one team's gonna output more damage on the shield than the other and the other the team that's gonna have a shield that's gonna last that's this that's going to stay up longer is ultimately going to win the fight because they'll get ultimate before the team because they'll actually do damage on someone instead of just shooting a shield so yeah I'd say that's about it for hog Yeah, I was hoping to catch you on tonight, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to do that some other time. I'll be on tomorrow in the morning, like, but I, I got stuff to do in the afternoon. So yeah, that's about it. See ya, man.